first. A agrees to pay B a sum of money if a certain ship does not return. The ship is sunk. A refuses to pay. Advice B. A. B can enforce the contract when the ship sinks. B. B can claim damages. C. B cannot enforce the contract when the ship sinks. D. None. Here, B can enforce the contract when the ship sinks. Now, this contract is like a contingent contract. Here, the contract is enforceable if the event does not happen and you can see that the ship sinks. That means the event has become impossible and it will not happen. And once the ship, uh, the ship sinks, a is liable to pay money to B and thus B can enforce the contract when the ship sinks. A person who finds goods belonging to another and takes them into his custody is subject to the same responsibility as a A thief, B trespasser, C bailey, D true owner. This is pretty simple. The answer should be the finder of goods is Bailey. Okay, we move ahead. To claim reimbursement of money paid on behalf of another person, which of the following is not required? A. Payment must be made to a third party to whom the another party was liable. This is required. Look, I told you three conditions. The liability should be for another person. The payment should be made to the third party and it should be to protect the interest. Next, payment must be voluntary. Third, there should be some legal or other coercive process compelling the payment. This is also required. There must be some legal or coercive process. Coercive matlab, he, uh, meaning he should have paid under some pressure, under some legal or other pressure. Original liability should be of other person. This is also required. So what is not required is The payment must be voluntary. The payment should be involuntary and it should be under some coercive or compelling pressure. It should be on account of some coercive or compelling reason. So the answer is B. A promise to give rupees 50,000 to B if B is selected as the president of cooperative society. It is A void contract, B contingent contract, C wagering contract, D illegal contract. This is a clear case of transfer of money. If B becomes the president of the society, A will give him 50,000 rupees. So there is no business that is being conducted here. So it's a clear case of wagering contract. That is the answer. A contingent contract dependent upon non-happening of a future uncertain event becomes void when such event A happens, B does not happen, C becomes impossible, D none of these. See there is this Contingent contract which is dependent on non-happening. It is dependent upon non-happening of a future uncertain event. And when does it become void? When that event would happen. If the event happens, the contract becomes void because it is based on non-happening. 
the event does not happen then the contract will become enforceable but if the event happens the contract will become void so answer is a happens a contingent contract dependent upon non happening of a future uncertain event becomes enforceable now it is based on non happening and we are talking about enforceability when such event becomes a i mean a happens b does not happen c becomes impossible d none of these it becomes enforceable when the event becomes impossible kartik is a coach of sachin a minor who joined for hockey coaching the fees is 10000 rupees the contract is a void agreement b contingent contract c quasi contract d wagering agreement now actually this question does not belong to this topic we've taken this question because it has mention of quasi and contingent contract this actually belongs to the topic capacity to contract wherein you are transacting with minor you are contracting with minor so all contracts with minor are void agreements okay a agrees to pay rupees 8000 to b if b's car is burnt it is a void b illegal c valid d voidable the answer should be illegal now why should the answer be illegal here you can always argue that it's a valid contract because this contract appears to be like a insurance contract in insurance if let's say your car or your house gets burnt you get money from the insurance company however one important point to note here is all insurance contracts have premium which you pay to the insurance company so there is a business that is happening insurance company is covering your risk and you are paying premium for that and if your house actually gets burnt the insurance company gives you the sum assured here there is no mention of any premium paid which makes this contract as a betting contract or a wagering contract that is if you know b's car is burnt he'll pay him 8000 rupees so there is no transaction or a business that is happening here so it's a case of wagering contract which is illegal which of the following is not an essential element of a valid contingent contract a the performance must be conditional b the event must be uncertain c the event must form part of the contract d the event must be an independent event which is not an essential element of a contingent contract the performance must be conditional the event must be uncertain the event must be must form the part of the contract the event must be an, i know the event must be independent it should not be based on the will of the parties the performance must be conditional only when the condition is satisfied the contract becomes performable you are required to perform it the event must be uncertain you should not know the result of the event when you are making the contract however the event must not form part of the contract it is given the event must form part of the contract here so this thing is not required in a contingent contract so the answer is c okay we move ahead an uncertain event on the happening or non happening of which the performance of a contingent contract depends a must be an act of the party must not be an act of the party c must be some other independent event d may be an act of the parties 
or some other independent event. Now, in these options, we are discussing the quality of uncertain event. How should the uncertain event be? Should it be the act of parties or should it not be the act of parties? Should it be an independent event or it can be the act of parties or you know be any independent event it doesn't matter how should it be it should be an independent event next a contingent contract depending on the happening of impossible event is a void be voidable c valid d illegal if the event is impossible the contract becomes void so the answer is a void 